The difference between an audiologist and an ENT is a lot. So ENTs uh, go to medical school. After medical school, they do a surgical residency, and then they practice, you know, general ENT. So the surgical, sur mainly surgical, but some medical stuff we do too. And an audiologist goes, um, most, some of them start off as speech and language pathology, so that's their undergraduate degree. And then they go to audiology school, so they get either a master's or a PhD, it's not a PhD, it's an AUD, a doctor of audiology, and they, they really only do hearing. And they don't do any, they're not, doc, they're not medical doctors, so they don't you know, write prescriptions, they don't um, treat you know, diseases per se, but they do see people who have um, hearing loss, and, and they fit them for hearing aids. Some of them will have a bit of a side specialty in balance, and so some of them will do tests for balance. And so most of us ENTs worked really closely with audiologists in our training, so we may have, we may order something called a VNG, it's a balance study test, and that would have, the audiologist would do that study for us. And then in our clinic, uh, in our offices, we all have audiologists that we work with. So in, I think in Valley ENT, there's as many audiologists as ENTs. So I can see how maybe people start to get confused by it. And then a few years ago, so it used to be that they weren't doctors at all. So it was kind of easy. We could say, well, we're doctors and they're not. But now they get these AUDs or doctors in audiology. And so then you say, um, here, I'm going to have you see, in my office, it's Dr. Hales uh, or Dr. Hawkins. I'm going to have you see Dr. Hales or Dr. Hawkins. And they're actually an audiologist. They're not an ENT. And so the the question gets raised quite a bit of what's the difference. So the difference is your medical doctor is your ENT and your audiologist may help you with your hearing aids or with some balance testing, um, but if you had a, a dizziness problem then you would just have the test done there and then a, an ENT doctor would um, treat you.